All right, eventually I'll figure out how to do all this. I might need to start asking Mr. Newsom to film. Um, so you should have the standard form as 137, just writing the number. The expanded form, we have a 1 in the hundreds place, and that stands for 100. We have a 3 in the tens place, and that stands for 30. Then we have a 7 in the ones place, and that stands for 7. We spell it O N E. H U N D R E D T H I R T Y dash S E V E N. Let's go put ahead and put your hand under your chin. Let's do the syllables for that. How many syllables does 137 have? Ready, set, go. 137. What'd you guys come up with? Seven syllables is what it should be. So your board should look like mine. And now we're going to go um, add a straw and count our money because we're a little bit behind on both of those. So I'm going to pause the video real quick. So the last time we met, we only had 123 days of school. So now we're going to have to catch it all the way up to 137. So let's go ahead and start counting. 123, 124, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Now hopefully some of you are freaking out at home because I should not have that many straws in the ones place. When do we bundle? Exactly. Very good. When we have a bundle or a group of 10. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now you should have one group of 100, three groups of 10, and seven ones for 137. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is, and I want you guys to follow along with me, let's write 100, oops, 137. Let's do it with a dollar sign, and let's do it with the cent sign. Remember how those two are a little bit different? At the bottom, I also want you to count out the coins, do a way to make... 137, okay? Go ahead and do that. You can use quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, and dollar bills. But I want you to do make 137 cents somewhere on your scrap piece of paper. You can check it with mine in just a moment. Go ahead and pause your video where you're at. Okay, you should have under the dollars portion of your paper one dollar and 37 cents don't forget the dollar sign and the decimal point those are the two most important things when you're writing money over here with the cents we don't need a decimal point we just write 137 cents here down at the bottom is one way that you can make 137 cents i have two half dollars dime 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 which makes the 30 right here nickel which is five plus two pennies, six, seven. So here I have a dollar because two half dollars are one dollar. Remember this is 50 cents and this is 50 cents. So there's my one, then dime, 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 there's my tens, and then nickel, penny, penny, there's my ones. So here's my, what I meant to say was hundreds, but it makes my one. These two, 50 plus 50 is 100. That's where the one and the hundred spots come from. Three dimes, that's where the three comes from in the ten spot. Nickel, penny, penny, that's where the seven and the ones place comes from. Did you do it another way? Go ahead and post in the comments under this video a different way you could have made 137 cents.